Hey everyone, um, so I thought we'd have a bit of fun today and um, so what we're going to do is we'll just walk around um, uh, the retail tanks and some of the display tanks and we're going to chuck a, some of the Rapashi into them um, just for a bit of fun and so you guys can see sort of how it works. Um, we get a lot of questions kind of just like, because uh, it's a bit different to like your pellets or your flakes or whatever. Um, people get a little bit confused about how, how you're supposed to use it and all this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we will kind of just show you all the stuff and then go from there. Um, so this is it here. Um, this is the Rapashi. Um, that's it made up. This is how it comes in, like just in a jar. And basically it's like a powder. Um, and then you mix it with boiling water and it turns into a um, gel kind of mixture here. Um, if you want to kind of see how we make it, I'll leave a link to that a video where we go through the process of making it, um, kind of how to do it and all that. And then these are the additives that, oh, I shouldn't have done it there. Oh no, there we go, stop, oh no. How do we stop? Oh, there we go. Um, so these are the additives that I'm adding to it. Um, in that video I linked before, um, I talk about these ones. Um, this, uh, Aquavitro Fuel is more of a newer one that I haven't I haven't been using long enough to give my personal sort of feedback on but at least these four um, I've noticed way better sort of coloration and uh, growth and activity on the fish like particularly this lot is the one that the ones that have had it for the longest time like the color on the strigatus although not all the way through is definitely markedly better um, another one like the venustas here um my camera's not probably the best but like basically all these guys are way more colorful um, and active and growing faster and all that um since i started using those additives um these ones here um so what i do is i just chuck it into the, the mix while i'm making it um and then let it go um as i said the fuel um i haven't been using for long enough to give my personal feedback on just yet but i thought i'd show you guys just so you kind of know a bit of the product testing and stuff that goes on behind the scenes um of what we do um just for sort of interest sake in that so yeah um that's that stuff at least um so now we'll kind of go around the fun part and chuck in some of the rapashi into a few of the tanks um so like one that i quite like to do is this one here um, so what we've got in here is like some neons. Normally we don't sell neons, but these were surrendered to us. Um, black neons that we have all the time. Probably a few Harlequin Respirers left, but not a lot. Um, and then like a better here, obviously, this guy. Um, some Otto Sinkless. A couple other bits and pieces, so we'll drop it in there. So it's kind of more of a grazing food. Like the general rule of thumb that you'll kind of be operating on for a lot of your foods is as much as like your flakes and stuff is as much food should go in as the fish will consume in about 30 seconds um rapashi is a little bit different I, I give them a bit longer because it is more of a kind of grazing food um so they need a bit more time to fully graze on it and everything um so yeah and you can see they kick it around rip off pieces um, all that kind of thing so even even on, on one side it is just a more fun food to feed um but yeah that's them having a guard up there. So yeah, we'll go grab some more of it um, over here. I just, some people like cut it into nice cubes or like put it in an ice tray or something. I just rip it off with my fingers. Um, who should we do next? Um, let's do these guys. These are cool. Um, so there's just like a bunch of schooling fish. So there's like um, lemon tetras, um, neon dwarf rainbows, crebensis, uh, yellow phantoms, Serpes, probably some other stuff I've missed, um, but yeah, you can see them just shredding it to pieces, um, which is fun. Maybe it'll make the water a little bit more messy for two minutes or something, but uh, the, the superior quality you get out of the Rapashi is way, way worth it. Like, you get so much better color and activity and all this kind of stuff out the fish, I reckon. Um, of course they're going to take the piece to somewhere where we can't see them, which is fantastic. Um, you can't really see it, can you? But yeah, there we go. Um, another piece. 
Um, this one will do something a bit different. We'll take it over to the Tanga Yukins. Here. Oh, hold on. Hey everyone, uh, sorry about that. That was uh, just quickly interrupted by some of you lovely people coming in to take a look and buy some stuff. So um, I'll jump back into it. We were just about to drop dies. Um, the Tangi Yukins, there's the um, Neolamprologus brevis and the Jolodochromistic Feldi. Um, and there's some Julie Fry as well. Um, I think there's three distinct generations, but um, yeah, so here it is. Um, the Rapashi Grub Pie, and we'll drop that in and watch them go to town. Um, maybe a little bit more sort of standoffish because I'm standing here but yeah as you can see they they really love it as well um, smashing it so yeah it, it is probably my favorite food to feed I think it's it's got to be by far like the best quality stuff we can get around, uh, at least around New Zealand at the moment um, so yeah that, that's them the other thing I did do is with that other piece when the customers came in I did I just scared everyone away, but I dropped it in here and the Geo Fry were um, kind of munching away at it. Um, so yeah. There we go. And I suppose we may as well drop some in for these guys because that'll be more fun. Um, the way these guys eat it is a bit different obviously, being bigger. Um, so we chucked like this much in. Um, These guys are obviously messy with it because they just blow it apart instantly. I think that'll be about it. All gone, so yeah. Um, that's kind of a quick summary almost of how the Rapashi Grub Pie works. Um, obviously same for all the different um, blends, but yeah, that's kind of how we feed it, um, how you guys can too. Um, I'd say, yeah, definitely... If you haven't given it a go, I'd definitely recommend it. It'd be by far the best um, quality food. Um, get real good growth, coloration, um, all that good stuff um, out of the fish. So, yeah, they must be doing something right. Um, so, yeah, all good. All right, I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to um, reach out. Um, drop your thoughts down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.